Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at a new feature or maybe we should call it a flaw of the Windows Reg Server 32 command. This program is a legitimate Windows app that is used to register a DLL as a server. Recently though, news came out that the Reg Server 32 command can also be used to load and execute VB scripts and JScript files from a remote host using a URL. This obviously has some serious security ramifications as it will allow an attacker or an exploit kit to silently execute commands on a remote computer without them even knowing. Furthermore, these remote script files can be saved as extensions that are not normally scanned by security products and thus will not be blocked. So for example, we're using the SCT extension for our script, but you can make it a PNG file or really any other extension and it will still be executed. So um, this could be real, a real problem. So for example, with ransomware, you could download, install the ransomware through one of these files, execute it, do a cleanup, and leave nothing left behind. And this doesn't allow then a researcher to come on and take a look at what's going on, how the ransomware got there, or even get a samples to see if there's any vulnerabilities in the, in the encryption process. So as a test, what I did was I set up a virtual machine here. Um, I created a folder filled with um, fake doc uh, documents and PNG files. Uh, as you notice, I made it the folder in dollar sign A folder because I want this folder to be scanned quickly. The way this ransomware that we're going to be using as a test encrypts the data is it uses 7-zip and it's incredibly slow. So I took a Nemucod ransomware installer, which is a JavaScript file, and I modified it to work with the reg server command. And I also added a little custom script in there so that it will terminate antivirus programs that I have running. Um, that way the ransomware can install and not be blocked. Um, so let's give this a try and uh, see how it works out. So this is the little script I made that will terminate antivirus programs and anti-malware programs. As you see, it terminated um, Sophos Home without a problem. In other tests, it's terminated other programs as well, so it's not solely the uh, an issue with Sophos Home. Soon, the this file should start getting encrypted. Uh, it takes a while, so let's okay. So here's the ransom note, and we should slowly see these files start to get encrypted. There we go. Got our first one. And as I said, it's using 7-zip through a, basically a batch file. So it's um, really slow. So instead of sitting here and, and watching, here's another one. Instead of sitting here and watching them all get encrypted, which could take a long time, um, I'll, I'll finish this video. Uh, unfortunately, this reg server flaw can uh, easily be utilized by uh, attackers to execute commands on a host through a URL. Um, this is obviously something that needs to be fixed. Uh, we have not heard um, from Microsoft on this yet. They, they haven't published anything. They haven't posted anything letting us know if they're going to fix it or um, mitigate it in some way. But there is a way of fixing it um, so that you can block Reg Server 32. I'm going to be creating a post about this on the site. So uh, head over to Bleeping Computer and take a look at that after you watch this video. I will be posting a link to the article in the description of this video. And if there's any questions, feel free to ask. As always, subscribe to our channel so you can get notifications when there's new videos. And thanks for watching.